Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to make a game. This video is for the mobile version, Scratch Jr. Now let's get started. First we're going to click on the house icon. Once you've clicked on the house icon you should be on my project page. We're going to start a new project today by clicking on the blue plus. There we go. Now you should be on the screen. Once we're on the screen we're going to start by removing the cat. Hold down on the cat and delete the cat. We need to create three different backgrounds. Our game today is about an animal that is going to jump over an obstacle that is moving towards them. So we have three backgrounds. Background 1, intro screen. Background 2, game screen. And background 3, game over screen. So our first background we need to change to by clicking on the picture. Now what we're going to do is my game is going to be based on a farm themed. So I'm going to select the farm background. So once I've selected my farm background, click on the tick and there we go. We have our farm background. Now we need to create two more backgrounds. Second background, we are going to click on the plus again, remove the cat, hold down, press the X, click on the picture at the top and now we're back on the screen. Now I would like to edit my farm theme. So I'm going to click one time, paintbrush, and there we go. Now we're on the screen. I'm going to select the square tool, the line, and black. And this time I'm going to draw a line for my animal to stand on. This is my bar. There we go. Now that I've drawn my line, I'm going to select the paint bucket and just color that in black. Now we're going to select the same square again and I'm going to get a different color. Let's make a, a white bar at the bottom, draw the shape at the bottom like that, and then let's color it in. There we go. Now we have our little task bar. This is going to be our, our theme, our screen for our animal. Our animal is going to be standing on this black line. An object is going to come towards them and they just have to jump over it. Okay, once you've done this background, just click on the blue tick and save. Now I have my background. Background 1, background 2, and let's click on the plus. We need our third background. Click on that, hold down on the cat, delete the cat, click on the picture, and I'm going to select the farm theme again. This is my game over screen. And tick. There we go. Background 1, 2, and 3. Let's start on background one. So on background one, we need to create the name of our game. What is the name of your game going to be? You click on the ABC, type in the name of your game. My game is going to be called Farm Yard because I have an, uh, a farm theme. Click on the size that you want. I'm going to make it over there. I'm going to leave the color, you can change the color, whatever color you'd like. I'm going to leave mine as black. Click away, drag it down, put it where you want to. There we go. That is the name of my game. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add two sprites. One sprite, click on the plus, select an animal of your choice. My theme is going to be of a horse jumping over an obstacle. So I'm going to select the horse. Then I'm going to click on the blue tick. I have my horse. My game is going to be about a horse. Now I want to get someone to speak for me. So I'm going to click on the plus, get someone who you want to talk, up to you, can have a cat, can have a person. I'm going to get one person. I'm going to get this, this girl over here. Click on that girl, selected it, now I have my girl. Just there. Now our icons are very big, we need to make them smaller. Click on the horse, go to the purple man, go to the shrink, take it down, click one, two, three times, and drag it up, and put the horse underneath your game name. Get our person, click on our person, go to the purple man, bring it down, one, two, and delete it. Let's put our person at the bottom. Now we were gonna we're gonna start by coding our game. First thing we're going to do is we need to code our person. 
we want our person to say something to us. So we are going to make sure that we have selected our person and we're going to click on the yellow. Green flag, take the green flag, start on green, take that down. Now what we are going to do is we are going to say a message. So we're going to click on the, the purple man, select the one that says hi, put that there, change the set, change it to whatever you want to start by saying hello. And there we go. Now we are going to wait before we start our next question. Take down the time, go to the orange, select time, wait, how many seconds? Let's wait five seconds before she says something else. Go back to the purple man, get your say message, and let's change this message to let's play a game. We'll stop. Let's play a game. Go back to time, wait five seconds, and Go back to say, put that there, and let's change this one to touch the horse to start the game. Full stop. Now, if you have a different character, change where it says horse to your character. So if you have a pig, a frog, say touch the pig or touch the frog to start the game. As mine is a horse, I'm going to say touch the horse. So now, touch the horse to start the game. This one is finished for our person. Let's test to see if it works. Hello, let's play a game. Wait five seconds, touch the horse to start the game. There we go, now we know our character is working. Now let's program the horse. Select the horse, click on yellow. Select the one that says start on tap. Put that down and then we need to go to Theme number two, screen number two, background. Go to the red, select the one that says number two. You can see it's got the white line. I ah, know this one is number two. Take that and put that there. Now this, now this scene is done. Let's click on the play. Hello, let's play a game. Touch the horse to start the game. Now if I touch the horse, it goes to screen two. Okay, so now we know that that screen is working. So now what we're going to do on this screen, we need to make the horse jump over an obstacle that is moving towards us. So let's get our horse. First obstacle, horse. I've selected my horse and my horse is on the screen. Now we need to get something that our horse is going to jump over. Select the plus. You can scroll down and find something that you want to jump over. As I cannot see anything, this fence is too wide, we cannot use the fence. So I'm just going to draw, draw something. So I'm going to select the white page, paintbrush, and now I'm just going to draw something by selecting the blue, uh, by selecting the square. I'm going to select the brown color, and I'm just going to draw a little pole like this. Something that our horse can jump over. And I'm just going to select the paint bucket and color it in. Change the name to pole. And click on the blue tick. Now I have my shape just there. Our horse is very big, so we need to make our horse much smaller. Same thing we did earlier on. Select your horse, click on the purple man, and shrink the size. One, two, three times. And delete that. Let's position our horse. Put your horse on the black line. Our pole is a, a little bit too small, so let's select our pole and let's increase the size by one. One click. There we go. And delete that. Now our horse can jump over it. Position your pole where you would like your pole. I would like my pole on that line. My horse about there. There we go. Now we need to control our horse. We need to create a jump button. So if I press the button, it needs to send a signal to the horse to jump. So we're going to start with our coding. The first thing we need to do is let's program our horse. We're going to click on the yellow. 
we're going to receive a message. Then we are going to say, go back home, click on the blue, go home. Then we are going to go to speed in the orange one, take the speed icon, change speed to one. We don't want to jump too fast. We just want to jump very slow. And then we're going to click on the blue one and select hop. Drag that down, change the number from two to three. We want to hop three steps. Let's test it. My horse can jump. Okay, perfect. Now, once our horse has been able to jump, let's go to the pole. We need to make this pole move left towards the horse. So we've selected the pole, click on the yellow, go to the green flag, take the green flag down, go to orange, select speed. And we're going to select speed three. We want the pole to come very quickly towards us. If you make it slow, the horse will touch the pole. So we need to make sure that the, the pole goes past the horse before the horse lands. So which direction is the pole going? The pole is going towards the left side. So we need to make sure we move left, move left one step. And then we need to repeat everything. Click on the red, repeat forever. So let's test it. Does the pole move? Yes, it does. The pole moves straight past my horse. Okay, let's stop everything and reset. There we go. Now we need to create a button to allow our horse to jump. So click on the plus, select your tool. If you would like to select a picture, you can. I'm going to draw a button. So I'm going to select this page, paintbrush, and I'm just going to draw myself a circle. I want my button to be yellow, so I'm going to just draw a yellow circle, just like that, not too big, perfect. Now, I want to color my circle in, there we go, with the paint buckets. Let's change my name to button. And then once you're done, click on the blue tick. Now I have my button. Let's drag my button and put it down there in the white bar. Now my button is too small, so we need to click on the purple man. If your button is big, it is fine as long as it's inside this. You do not want the button to touch that. So our button, let's make it bigger. Click on the grow icon. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Now my button is a perfect size. It is inside here. Now let's put a name on our button. Click on ABC and type for me, jump. Change the size to small. Once you're happy, click away. There we go. Drag jump and put it on our button. So now I know that this button is jump. Now we need to program our button. I need the button to send a signal to the horse. So if I press this, the horse must jump. Okay, so the way we do that is we need to click on the yellow, touch. So if I touch the button, it needs to send a message. Make sure that your color, there is six colors, make sure the color is the same as the horse. So this one is orange. What color is our horse? Our horse is orange. Okay, so now we know that is working. Let's test. Jump, jump. Okay, the jump button is working. So now what we're going to do is go back to our pole and this time if something touches the pole it must take me to the third screen the game over screen so we're going to click on this one that says start on bump take that put that there and then we're going to select the red one and say screen three go to page three now let's test if the pole touches my horse yep it takes me to screen three Let's go back to screen two, reset everything. Click on the green flag. If I jump, does it work? Yes, it does. There we go. Every time the obstacle comes, okay, if I miss jump and touch, it takes me to screen three. Perfect. Now we know, go back to screen two, reset, go on to screen three. Now we need to create a game over screen. So click on the ABC and write game over.
Select the color that you want and the size. Game over. Now I want to be able to go back to my game and try again. So let's click on the blue plus. Select a character that you want. Early on I had the boy. I mean, early on I had the girl. So this time I'm going to select the boy. Put my boy over there. Change the size, go to the purple man, shrink, one, two, and delete that. Put my boy over there, and say, when green flag, when green flag is clicked on start, drag that down, play a message, and this time we are going to, first we are going to wait five seconds, then we are going to say, Oh no. Oh no, exclamation mark. Wait five seconds again. Go back to the purple man and say, What happened? Question mark. Go to the orange. Get your wait, 5 seconds, and our last one, go to the save, and change this one to touch the horse to try again, full stop. And then, we're going to click, we need to add the horse now to go back to screen number 2, select the plus. Select your horse, or whatever animal that you had, yes, and let's change the size of our horse, one, two, three, and put the horse underneath game over, and now we need to program our horse, so, yellow, start on tap, red, go back to screen number two, and let's see, let's test, does it take me to screen two? Yes, it does, and it starts again. Oh no, what happened? Touch the horse to try again. So now we have a loop. So when I start my game, if I touch the horse, it will take me to two. If the game finishes, if I touch the horse, it will take me back to screen two. So now you have a continuous game. Right, thank you, and this will be the video for today. Hope you all have a wonderful day.